Volkswagen's much improved second generation Touareg is a large luxury SUV that in this guise is smarter looking, safer, better equipped and more efficient. As before, this car's dynamically better than you expect it to be, both on-road and off it. True, it can't offer more than five seats, but then neither can key rivals like BMW's X5, Mercedes GLE Class, Jeep's Grand Cherokee, the Lexus RX or Porsche's Cayenne. If you're looking at one of those contenders in this segment, then this underrated Touareg offers a very complete package with a value proposition that could prove hard to resist. You tend to approach a drive in a two-ton luxury SUV with certain preconceptions, two in particular. There'll be a luxuriously commanding high-set driving position, which is certainly the case here, and the car will be heavy and ponderous when it comes to twisty roads, which is where this Volkswagen has a few surprises in store. No, it's not BMW X5-like in its ability to iron out the bends on a twisty B road, but it's far more capable on the tarmac than you'd ever expect a vehicle to be that can handle wilderness trails the Bavarian model couldn't even think about attempting. Through the turns on paved services, anyone whose sole familiarity with Touareg motoring dates back to the original pre-2010 first generation version will conclude almost immediately that this car feels smaller and wieldier than its predecessor, confounding the tape measure which shows that it's actually grown in most key dimensions. A glance at the spec sheet reveals why you get that impression. This car is more than 200 kilograms lighter than that old original model, something that certainly helps with the surprisingly sprightly performance. With this revised second generation version, you don't get the petrol-electric hybrid power plant that was an option on the original Mark II model, but that's no great loss. Personally though, I do still miss the wonderful TDI V10 that used to be offered in the first generation range. In that car, there was so much torque that you felt you could drive up the side of a building. Mind you, this one doesn't do too badly in that regard. All Tuaregs get at 3 litre V6 TDI power these days, this diesel unit solely matched to permanent four-wheel drive and an old-school eight-speed Tiptronic automatic gearbox. This engine comes in two states of tune. There's an entry-level 204 PS version with 450 newton meters of torque that manages 62 miles an hour from rest in 8.7 seconds on the way to 128 miles an hour. And the power plant that over 80% of buyers here choose, the 262 PS unit with a thumping 580 newton meters of torque. That's grunt substantial enough to allow you to tow a brake trailer up to three and a half tons. This is the variant that I'm trying here, a car capable of 62 miles an hour from rest in 7.3 seconds en route to 140 miles an hour. It's this uprated engine that you have to have if you're amongst the 10% of Touareg buyers who want this Volkswagen in its most capable escape off-road guise. Here, the 3-litre TDI diesel is mated with a more capable 4X motion all-wheel drive setup that gives you all the things that mark out proper mud pluggers. Fully looking centre and rear differentials, a five-stage control for the four-wheel drive system, an electrically controlled multi-plate clutch and all-important low-range gearing that'll get you through the really sticky stuff. Plus, you get extra underbody protection and a larger fuel tank. Escape buyers get extra ground clearance too, up from 214 to 224 millimetres at the front if you're choosing a car with standard suspension, which in turn means increases in the various approach and departure angles that will determine just how far you can get off the beaten track. Whatever Touareg you choose, the ground clearance and climbing ability you get can be dramatically improved if you specify the optional air suspension system. This gives you a selectable higher raised mode that can set your Touareg as much as 286 millimeters off the deck. That same setting can increase your ramp angle to as much as 27 degrees, give this Volkswagen a phenomenal climbing ability of up to 45 degrees and enable you to plow through water up to 580 millimeters deep. You'll also be able to set off up slopes as steep as 30 degrees, aided by a hill start assist setup that prevents 
downhill movement before moving off. Then the other side slither down gradients as steep as 30 degrees, aided by an automatic downhill assistant that uses targeted ABS brake intervention to ease you to the bottom. That braking system is a clever ABS Plus setup designed to reduce your braking distance on loose services by up to 20%. It's all very impressive, but of course it's something that hardly any Touareg buyer will ever put to the test. For most, the straightforward four-motion four-wheel drive system you get on the standard models will be more than sufficient for the slippery stuff. With this, once you're off the beaten track, you simply twist this rotary dial by the gear stick into the designated off-road setting. This tunes the ABS braking, the EDS differential and the ASR anti-slip regulation traction control for off-piste duty, while at the same time activating hill descent assist and adjusting the automatic gearbox chain.